Okay, so this is Henry, and he is not where James is at in getting his nails done. And that's okay. But everybody progresses at a different level, and, and you know, everybody has different... Different things they're good at, strengths yeah, or exactly. whatever. Exactly. And so we got to... We gotta, start helping him but doing it in a very slow way yeah so that's the thing we gotta we gotta take sw smaller steps with some of these guys so literally for this guy when we pull the dremel out he, he panics just the sound of it he panics he doesn't like it and so holding this and petting his foot and picking it up without him jerking it back is maybe as far as we will get in this session. Yeah. That might be it. And then we build on that later on today, tomorrow, the day after that. The important thing too is to be consistent with it, which I'm I'm guilty of not doing that because I'll do this and then I'll wait a week and I'll do another session. Okay. <laughs> Where we'd be so much further along if I wouldn't wait a week, if I would do this consistently every day. And let's also, let's also make mention of this. So I cannot let him run away from this noise. Yes, that is not appropriate. I don't care if it's this, the blender, the vacuum, the hair dryer, whatever. You cannot run away from your fears. So am I gonna touch this Dremel to that dog's nail today? Absolutely not. That's not even an option. That's not where we're going. And so I want owners to realize, like, if you're sitting down for the first time to condition your puppy's nails, don't expect to touch this Dremel to their nail for probably several sessions. And if you're able to do that, that's awesome. That means you have a magic dog because mm -hmm. most of them are not. So now I said to him, you know, you don't have to love the Dremel. That's okay. I'll, we'll get you to love the Dremel. You don't have to love it, but you cannot run away from mm -hmm. it. And so that's why you have to have your puppy on a leash. In this case, we have him on a leash and a prong. And so then for him, you know, so some puppies I'll say just, just have it on. And you could do that and literally just have it on because you can't hear it on the camera, but he can hear it humming. And so he gets used to that. He yeah. literally is like, okay, I'm used to that humming, that weird little white thing that makes me uncomfortable. But when it's around and when it's on, that's how I eat. Like, if I want to eat my breakfast, I have to put up with that, <laughs> right? And even because we use the, the puppy's daily food. So this is like his breakfast. And so he's hungry. He wants to eat his breakfast. And so he realizes, well, to eat my breakfast, I have to put up with this. Another thing you could do is turn it off, right? And just lay it there, right? So you could do that. Get it close to him, but have it off. Get him used to it. <laughs> yes. And, and so it's close to him and it's off, but you're picking up his leg. You're putting his leg down. Right? So you're touching his foot while the Dremel is near. See how he got uncomfortable on this leg? He got uncomfortable on this leg closer to the Dremel. He didn't get uncomfortable on this. And guys, mind you, this dog has never had his nails Dremel. It's not that he's had a weird, bad experience. Mm -hmm. He just says, there's something weird about that thing and I'm not comfortable with it. And if we would let him dictate that and walk away, or if we're like, if she, if, if you would just pet, like pet him right now in a way that's like, oh, it's okay, baby, it's okay. We'd be telling him that his reaction is okay. Mm -hmm. We cannot do that. And that he should be afraid of the yep. dremel. We'd be validating those fears. And so sometimes guys, you're this, literally you're starting from ground zero and you are feeding the dog and you're calming your neutral with having the tools around, touching the dog's feet while the tools are around. The, the, the thing about it is, is your timing on the food has to be right. If your timing on the food is wrong and you touch the dog's foot, and he jerks away and then you give the food, well then you're rewarding him for jerking his foot away. So your timing on the food has to be right. Yeah. So. This though. See that? You don't get food. This experience food. will, will 
make him grow leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. It's important to remember too that one experience can make a world of a difference. Absolutely. That's why when you are consistent with it, it doesn't actually take as long as you think it's going to take. Mm -hmm. And I tell people, put this stuff into your homework. Like I said to a client the other day, who cares if your dog can sit and shake if you can't cut their nails? So owners will spend all this time teaching their dog how to sit and shake. And I'm like, take that time and spend that time on doing something truly valuable. It's easy to teach a puppy sit. I'm not saying I'm not devaluing that. Right. But what I am saying is, is like people will spend all this time teaching the dog how to shake, but then that same dog has to be held down and tied down to get his nails clipped. Right. So take 10 minutes and do these sessions, which are less boring. You know, they're boring. Right. Right. They're less, a little less rewarding because you don't really get that far. Right. That was good. That he was didn't good. jerk away from that. Yeah, so he gets to eat. Now he... So look at him. He's going like, uh, so what gives? How do I eat? <laughs> and this is where you're patient. There. That's how you eat. There we go. And you build on that. You have to let the dog think. That's why you're watching me. If I wasn't talking to the camera, this would be a very quiet experience. Mm -hmm. I would be actually saying nothing to this. Yeah, because we haven't really said anything. No, no. Nope. But it's like that's something I want. I want viewers to pick up on. If if I wasn't speaking to the camera, it would be quiet in here with this dog. Got that little mastiff foam drool going yeah. on on the inside of his mouth. <laughs> so this is it, guys. It's how you do it. Yep. It's, it's, step one. it's as easy and boring as that. <laughs> yep, exactly. Take your time. Be patient. Put the sessions in. Build one session on top of the other.